If this video has taught me anything, it's that I cannot multitask in the kitchen. Hey y'all, so today I'm switching it up on you and doing a voiceover because I love a good voiceover. I don't know about you, but I do. Um, they were making a U of A classic. Not exactly the healthiest thing, but you know what? You gotta enjoy your life sometimes. Let's get it. Hey guys, we are here to make the world famous Highland Burrito, found famously, once again, it's very famous, at Highland Market on the U of A campus. Okay y'all, I'm about to drop the ingredient list of the Highland Burrito I usually get, aka the Superior Highland Burrito order. Bacon, egg, cheese, potato, cheese, cheese, and salsa. Sour cream as well. It doesn't come automatically, but um, you should always get the sour cream, trust me. I don't think I have a potato peeler. I'm gonna have to go old school with this. That means I'm gonna have to call my dad and ask him how to peel a potato. <laughs> so my dad informed me that I should not attempt to peel a potato without a potato peeler because I am bad at doing things as I have illustrated multiple times on this program. All right, so I'm gonna just go get a potato peeler. But before I do that, we're gonna get started on the bacon. I'm assuming this will be the longest part of the process, but don't quote me on that. I just make a bunch of bacon. Honestly, that's a yes for me. Okay, let me find a skillet. Skillet. Ugh, creaky oven. Oh no, never mind. <laughs> bacon. This is starting out great, I think. Oh, this ain't a big enough skillet. What a scam! What we gonna do is we gonna get this other skillet that's still not gonna fit all the bacon. But you know, it's a five by ten. This is me realizing that along with not having potato peeler, I only have like two of the ingredients necessary to make this recipe. I'm gonna go get some more ingredients, BRB. So while I'm gone, I encourage you to look at the ingredients that make up your future and apply to the U of A so you can come and get a Highland Burrito with me or anybody else. It doesn't have to be with me. Whew. Sorry, I just ran back. Potato peeler. And I got some cheese, cause I, I didn't have cheese. Let's get peeled. We're gonna give it a good scrub. A scrub-a-dub-dub, -dub, if you will. What were you doing, potato? He's out in the fields, playing around with the no good carrots. My father informed me of how to use a potato peeler, so shout out to him. Um, y'all are gonna see me use a potato peeler for the first time. I'm glad I can share this with y'all. Oh, oh shoot, this is easier. I guess that's why they made potato peelers, huh? Oh, that one was, that was not the center. Oh no, we got a sliver gone, but it's a, oh, that's my mother. We love her. And I am rinsing my potatoes as I argue with my nephew about whether potatoes belong in breakfast burritos or not. They do. Welcome to the cooking phase, folks. Friendly reminder, we are pan frying potatoes in a little bit of oil. We are cooking bacon on low to medium heat. We are scrambling eggs however you like it. And we are seasoning to taste. I'm using pepper and a little bit of seasoned salt. Whatever floats your boat. Pepper them real quick. I like, pe what did you just do? I like pepper on my stuff personally. We want these to ultimately be soft. Time to get in that bacon grease and start scrambling some eggs. Okay, we gotta make sure this get like super hot first though. So. Our eggs are hot! Ah! We're gonna crack three eggs up in there. One, two, three. Listen. Listen. Wait, let me get the shot of pepper. Scramble to, I guess, perfection. Our potatoes been getting nice and soft. I think it's time to construct a burrito, y'all. Let's get it. First, I'm, I'm gonna clean up. Look at that bacon. Gorgeous. Tortilla. So egg down the middle, like so. Two pieces of bacon. It doesn't have to be a beautiful top. Yes, indeed. What cheese is better? Mozzarella. And then finally, our piece de resistance. And let's just get it across. Everybody quiet on set. It's not complete without the sour cream, at least to me. I don't know what other people feel, but they're wrong. A little bit in every bite, that's the goal of a burrito. You can quote me on that one. It's time to wrap. Let's see if I can figure this out. So you're gonna bring both sides in. Oh no, this, this is too thick. So you bring both sides right back over and whew. All right, taste this. That tastes shockingly similar. The inside, perfect. Anyway, y'all, I hope you enjoyed this episode. I hope you try this recipe. I know you don't want to sit here and talk to me. I'm just crack this open. Take a sip and sign up. Bye. I am editing this in the aftermath of the loss of George Floyd and countless others to police brutality and related circumstances, and I would be remiss to not address those lives and the system that has taken them. We as a country should be working to make this a place where people aren't disproportionately profiled and killed because of the color of their skin. Black Lives Matter.